this is Miss Hernandez. I'm going to be reading you Grade 6, Unit 1, Science Assessment, Thermal Energy and Particle Motion. Try your best. Don't worry. Relax. Engineering a Bridge. Introduction. The city needs to build a new bridge across the river and hire two companions competing groups of engineers to present designs for the bridge. Design A, the solid bridge design. Our design for a bridge is extremely solid. We believe that the best and strongest bridge design is one that is rigid as possible without flexible joints. If a bridge is too flexible, then the risk of bridge failure increases. A great example is the 1940 Tacoma Narrows Bridge. This design allowed the bridge to sway in the wind and the bridge collapsed into the water below just over four months after it opened to the public. Here is the actual video of the bridge's collapse. Therefore, our design includes none of the, none of the popular expansion joints being used on most bridges today, and our bridge's design is not capable of allowing for the bridge to flex at all. The steel and concrete is connected across the river in a way that makes it like a long, inflexible, immovable piece. Design B. The expansion joint design. Bridges need to be solid and rigid, but they also need to have some flexibility. Without flexibility, bridges will not have the ability to safely adjust to changing conditions. One of those changing conditions is weather. With the four seasons, the bridge has to be able to deal with different temperatures at different times of the year. Since the bridge is made of solid material that makes up the bridge will, affect, will be affected by changing temperatures. If there is no room for flexibility, the bridge will not remain stable. It could begin to fall apart due to its changes in temperature. The solution is to include expansion joists on the bridge, shown as the pictures below. Almost all bridges include expansion joints in their designs. Your task. The argument made by the engineers for design A seemed to make some sense, but the fact that expansion joints are part of most bridge design supports bridge design B. But the fact that expansion joints are part of the most part of most bridge designs it supports bridge design b you will develop an argument using a model to support the argument for using expansion joints in design b one research expansion joints and bridges to find out about their importance discuss the importance of expansion joints and what would happen if they were not used using evidence and reasoning from both the outside readings and from what you have learned in previous investigations Two, model at the particle level why the expansion joints are a critical part of any large bridge. In your model, identify all the necessary components using labeling, labeling or key. Show the relationships between the components and explain the connection between the model and the phenomena using a caption. Timeline for task. Day one, reintroduction to the task. Reading research. Day 2. The development of a tentative argument, argumentation session, and production of the final argument. Resources for research. Expansion joints give bridges room to breathe, thermal expansion, expansion joints, and expansion joints. After doing your research, here's the writing task. Time allotted, untimed, but usually 30 to 45 minutes. Directions. Answer each question in the space provided using the resources from the task and unit. You may reference your science notebook and talk with your group. 1. This will cause, this is four points of your test. Research expansion joints and bridges to find out about their importance, why they're important. Discuss the importance of expansion joints and what would happen if they were not used using evidence or reasoning from both the outside readings and what you have learned in previous investigations. 2. This part is 11 points. 
model at the particle level. Why the expansion joists are a critical part of any large bridge. Your model should include the important components identified with the key and or labeling, the relationships between components, and a caption that explains how your model connects to the phenomenon. This part is part two of your assessment. Time allotted, 45 minutes, but it's recommended you spend 15 minutes per question. Directions. Independently answer each question in the space provided. On questions one and two, you will need to access the links for these questions on the question. One. Sean has three dishes of water at room temperature. She cooled the one dish causing thermal energy to transfer from the dish to the surroundings. She kept the middle dish at room temperature. She transferred energy into the third dish by heating it. Then, Sean dropped a red colored chocolate candy into each dish. Watch what happened in this video. A. Construction. Construct a model that shows what is happening to the water particles and red dye particles in each dish. Your model should include the important components identified with a key and or labeling, the relationship between components. B. Write a description of how your model connects to the phenomenon from the video. 2. Justin has a balloon filled with helium gas that is at room temperature 20 Celsius. He wondered how the volume of the gas inside the balloon would change if he took the balloon outside on a cold day, 5 Celsius. Justin will use the simulation to see what would happen to the motion of helium particles in the balloon when the balloon is placed outside. He will use this to predict what will happen to the volume of the balloon. Start the simulation, then click Begin Transfer of Thermal Energy from Helium to the Surroundings to see what happens to particle motion of the helium inside the balloon when the balloon is placed outside. Then write a scientific explanation predicting what would happen to the volume of the balloon when it is placed outside. Use what you observed in simulation as evidence. And your scientific explanation include your complete claim, the relevant evidence that supports your claim that has been analyzed and interpreted, the science concepts that support the evidence, and your scientific reasoning that shows why the evidence is important to link the evidence and the science concepts to the claim. 3. Jennifer heats water in the teapot. While she does this, thermal energy is transferred to the water. Draw a model that shows what will happen to the particles in the water and the temperature of the water before and after heating. Your model should include the important compon components identified with the key and or labeling. The relationship between components. Right here is water in the teapot before heating and water in the teacup in the teapot after heating. B. Explain your model how your model shows that transferring thermal energy to the water changes the movement of the water particles and the temperature.